Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use Paintful SAI to make things like this with um, a mouse. So, these ones are done with a mouse, but I do know how to do them with a mouse and I don't have any examples right now. But anyway, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make a new canvas and you're going to make it 1000 by 1000. That's how, well, a square at least it will be fine. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make a black border. You don't have to do any of this, but like this is how I do it basically black border um, with the select tool just make it like this let's do that again so. yep and go selection and invert once you've done that grab your bucket tool and just go ahead and fill it in then you can um, grab this tool and just click anywhere it's not in the selection and it will get rid of the selection I think you can do control D yes control D is control D select and then you make a new layer underneath so so basically you make a new layer, it will appear on top, put it underneath um, you... Uh, no wait no, sorry <laughs> let's re refresh that you make a new vector layer on top and then bring it underneath it's, well it's called a line work layer in this but really depends on what one you've got then grab the curve tool and we're gonna basically um, copy a skin so here's a skin that I was doing before um, I haven't done them yet, so but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do my skin for now. So this is skin viewer. Basically it allows you to view people's skins if you type in their usernames and I'll put a link to that down below. And there'll be a link to painful site as well down below. Okay. So we're gonna be using this as a reference. Um so just grab that, shove that there, grab that, shove that there. Okay. First thing you're gonna want to do is we're gonna go for the hair. That's why I normally do. And basically, what you'll need to, all you need to do is because it look. If you look, it kind of just does this, doesn't it? So you click here, 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 and then double click to stop it, basically. And then you're gonna do um, grab the pressure tool and just do this. Just put it that way. Cool. Then we're gonna grab the curve tool again. Just go like this. And pressure. Oh wait, we'll just move it up a little bit actually, just like this. Erase, uh, just erase this a little bit. Oh wait, can we use the pressure tool? Wait. There you go, that looks good. Alright, curve tool. Do the eye. Um, we'll just go ahead and right. How are we gonna do this? There you go. Uh. 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 Alright. Uh, X. Right. Okay. Cool. So this is the basic. My skin's really basic. So this is a good example. Is is a for example, and then basically what you can do is you're going to go and grab this tool here the um, wand tool I think it is magic wand tool, yes make a new layer underneath the, the um, line art and then what you're going to do is you're going to make it colour difference but right about here make it imi all images or all image and just basically go on the layer underneath click where you would like to fill in a certain colour so this is kind of like a ready kind of this kind of colour, maybe darker actually yeah like this kind of colour yeah that's a good colour and then go for control D again D do it again here we're going to do this gonna go grab a skin colour control D this, this, this my eyes are red so we're going to grab red uh, uh, a bit darker actually, I think. Out there, yeah. Control D. And that's the symbols of it. Now, add a little bit of shading. All you're going to need to do for that is make a vector layer again underneath the line work. Grab the curve tool, choose the colour. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick colour, pick the skin. Grab the curve tool, make it slightly darker. So to get bring these things up, you've got all of the options up here. Make it slightly darker, so we've got it a bit dark here, see? And you're just gonna go around and add some shading under the hair. Or not there, 
don't think. Yeah, and then it's basically how I would do it. And just down here, just do down here. Cool. And then we're gonna add the highlights for the um for the skin. So just do the same thing, but make it brighter this time. So up here, make it lighter. And just do this. Like this. I think that's pretty good to me. Now eyes, um, we're gonna go ahead and bring some white in here. So we're just gonna literally do this. And this is just a little glint in the eyes, basically. Looks good to me. Then we're gonna go for the eyes again. Grab this again. A bit darker. Curve. Do this. That's what I would do. Um, go again. Just bring the hair in. A bit darker. Curve tool. Just gonna go around the seam of the hair. I don't know what that's called actually, and just get in like this. And then we're going to go get the pressure tool and just bring that down, right down, right here. Do that. And to me, that looks pretty decent for a thing done in it with a mouse in like 10 minutes. It's very decent, okay? So yeah, that's near enough what I would do if you're going to be making a little icon. And yeah, anyways, thank you for watching this. Hope it helped you a ton. Uh, it's just the gist of doing it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.